the scale of this pandemic uh, is much larger uh, than people had uh, thought. And uh, while Mitch McConnell is not there, I know the House of Representatives is there. So that's why we passed the HEROES Act, uh, which is a second round of stimulus that's going to provide funding to many of our uh, people at the front lines, our paramedics, firefighters, police officers, teachers, nurses. It's going to give money to cities, counties, states, and it also has uh, money for school districts. In addition, we have additional money for hospitals and testing uh, and stimulus checks going to Americans. Uh, so it is a uh, important bill and we hope the U.S. Senate will, will act on it soon. I, I grew up in a small business. Uh, we had a, uh, a family uh, uh, gift shops. Uh, my parents actually uh, immigrated here to America and they started out uh, selling gifts and jewelry at flea markets to make ends meet. Uh, so I'm very aware of um, the issues facing small businesses. And that's one reason the fourth law uh, that Congress got through actually took a while because what the Republican controlled Senate wanted to do was simply refund uh, and just increase funding to the Patient Protection uh, loan program. And uh, we were saying in the House, uh, no, 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 there's problems with this program with money not going out to a lot of small businesses, especially in ethnic communities. So we fought for and got essentially carve outs in there for uh, CDFIs. Uh, many small businesses don't necessarily have relationships with the big banks. So that's an issue uh, that we're working on. But it's also a challenge just getting small businesses to understand uh, that there is this program. Uh, I remember when our family was in a small business, we had no idea what a chamber of commerce was. Uh, we had no idea uh, what really was happening in most of government. We were just trying to survive and trying to sell gifts and make sure that we had uh, money to make payroll. And every small business is located in a congressional district. And while our offices are physically closed, we remain open remotely and all our staff is working. And if someone has a issue with uh, getting a small business loan or a problem with the federal agency, we will help them. Uh, they should contact their local uh, members uh, of Congress's office, and we have staff ready to assist with casework. Uh, in terms of uh, sort of looking out in the future, we just have to provide additional uh, sustenance to the American people, both to families and to businesses. It's pretty clear to me that even if governments all across America were to lift the stay at home orders, we would still have a slow economy because it's the virus causing us to have a slow economy. People are simply not going to engage in a lot of activities that they previously did because they want to protect themselves and their families. And that's going to keep our economy slow until there's a uh, drug therapy or a vaccine.